What's going on everybody? Painblade back here again from Server 1 representing IC. And guys, the leaks are out, so shout out to Cart Knight and the guys from Discord for doing these data mining. And here we go. Let's look at Mitsuki, his own path. Special Ninjutsu, the path lit by the full moon, boosts own critical rate and deals damage to one enemy, fixed chance to stun that target, lowers all enemy damage increase rate and uh, critical rate for two turns. Now, we, I already called this yesterday. I did say he was going to have a stun and here we are. And it looks like it's going to be a single target nuke. So I am super, super happy about that, guys. And the fact that he boosts his own critical rate already makes him pretty damn good in my books. The only thing is, is he a T unit or an A unit? If he's an A unit, this man is definitely jumping into my team for sure as one of the main units I'm going to be using. Just because his debuffs are fantastic. Lowering all enemies damage increase rate and critical rate for two turns that's huge nowadays everybody has crit rate everybody has increased damage increase rate so it's going to be great for pvp and pve alike to have something like this as a debuff and the stun aspect is great and the fact that he boosts his own crit rate is massive unique skill deals damage to one enemy lowering tar a targets damage increase rate for the rest of the battle so obviously making people hit less that is a big one as well too. Again, this is going to be more of a PvE and PvP uh, thing. And certain PvE such as like Master Level 2 for example, um, in terms of uh, uh, FG and if, the, if, there, if there are new floors in Abyss, you're going to want something like this because it will lower the enemy's ability to one shot you, right? So these are going to be big, especially for PvP. That's going to be massive guys. So this is amazing so far for me personally. Again, all going to matter if he's a T or an A unit. Uh, let's look at the trait lowers all active enemies damage increase rate if the user start a battle now that see it looks like he's just going to be making people hit for a lot less so that's what he's meant to do and that looks like what he's going to be doing all along and he is the first ur unit that has a stun that's a single target and a power creep so that's pretty big guys now his lb2 boosts all active allies damage increase rate and damage reduction rate if he's there for the start of the turn also very very good meaning everybody in that turn is going to hit a lot harder so mitsuki guys looks pretty damn good i mean like if you especially for pvp this guy looks really good for pvp might be pretty damn good for pve but i've got to do testing of course so we will definitely be doing the testing to see if mitsuki is really good for either or content or for both and we're going to be doing that as soon as possible so i'm very excited for this now again the caveat here there are two things that's going to make him over the top good either he is an a unit with 5000 vitality or 10k which i don't think we'll ever get again uh no instant jutsus i think will ever come out but if he has the 5k vitality trait and he's a is an a unit that's gonna be huge even as a t unit i wouldn't mind it just because he does have the stun so that'll be that'll be fantastic to have either way but at, most of the time the single target stuns are a unit so i'm starting to kind of veer towards him having being an a type rather than a t type so that'll be great and plus he'll get the 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 third training gem bonuses on top of that right all right so this looks good to me this looks like a, a great pvp character and some pve characters as well too let's look at orichimaru uh one of the legendary signing as we know special ninjutsu deals damage to one enemy lowers targets damage reduction rate and guard rate for the rest of the battle okay that's not bad that's not bad okay so this is good for for tank killing essentially so i'm already thinking he's gonna be a t unit um, deals damage to one enemy, boosts damage reduction rate for users and all allies of the three man cell. Uh, okay, three man cell one's not the greatest. Uh, not a big fan of that usually, so that is a little bit meh to me. Uh, Shinobi trade boosts all active allies damage reduction rate if the user is active at the start of the turn. Boost damage increase rate if the user and all allies are the same three man cell for the rest of the battle at the start of the turn after an ally has been defeated. Uh, okay, so. This is going to be rough. So either he, either he's a T or a D unit. Um, boost damage reduction rate for users of all allies. Honestly, he, he could be either or. Because I've been saying all along, like T units are now becoming more tanky and giving more buffs for tank tank type of buffs. And, and D units are becoming more debuffers. So he could go either or, honestly. And at this point, we're going to find out after maintenance. But right now, Richimaru looks kind of underwhelming. Too many three-man cell buffs. Too much damage rate reduction stuff. Um, honestly, the yeah, I mean... He looks like, again, another debuffer. I kind of wish they did something different with Orochimaru because his last two versions were all debuffers. And this is just another version of, of him that is another debuffer. So, not honestly, guys, I don't know how I feel about Orochimaru. Um, of course, I'm going to build him. I'm going to test him. We have to do that, of course. Like, the kit itself doesn't look that good uh, because there are a lot of characters that are better that do this already. Uh, but... I mean, we'll, we'll see what the numbers look like, yeah, but I mean, he looks like a, I mean, he's free in the shop, right? So you can get him if you plan to go for Mitsuki to, to complete the, uh, the link bonus. 
But outside of that, I don't know if it's worth it, to be honest, to be even going for him if you're not planning to go for Mitski. Uh, he's free in the shop, but I would save my coins at this point. Like, let me test him out. He's going to be available. Like, the fragments are available. I just don't know how I feel about this whole kit. Especially, like, you know, the, the damage increase rate part is kind of nice for the three-band cell. But, I mean, there's so many people that do that already. And don't, that don't rely on allies being killed. So, I don't know, guys. This is, uh... He doesn't look very, very good, but I'm telling you now, I do like how Mitsuki looks. So I will go up here and look at it again. So let's look at this one more time here. Special Ninjutsu, boost on crit rate, so very similar to Heavy, SMN. And that's the problem. Like Pain, SMN, and Heavy all have that, right, as they boost their own critical rate. So it's hard to tell if he's an A or a T because there are two Ts that have it and one A. Uh, the stun part of it makes me want to feel like he's an he's a, a unit because most of the A's have the stun when they have this crit rate. And I'm talking about just Heavy here. Uh, SMN doesn't, Pain doesn't, right? Lowers all enemies damage, increase rate, and critical rate. So that part there kind of makes me worried that he's a T because of that that right there, these, these, these debuffs. Um... I mean, A's have it as well too, like uh, like Obito has damage uh, rate reduction down. So, I mean, A's are starting to get more things like that, so it could be possible that he's an A unit. Uh, the unique skill uh, is actually pretty damn good. Uh, again, it, it is great. it's going to be great for PvP. I don't know how it feels about PvE yet. Uh, I mean, it all depends on how much harder the Abyss floors are going to get, but that, this is going to be a really good PvP skill. Um, Shinobi trait lowers all enemies damage increase rate again uh, PvP skill not necessarily a PvE skill I mean it can be if, if you're getting one shot by a lot of units like I mentioned in the harder content that could be good The LB2 is actually really good uh, damage increase rate and damage reduction rate at the user start of the turn uh, So again um, looks like a good unit guys not a not a must-have but it is the first UR that has a stun right so again we have to we have to take into account that is a big deal uh, for PvP especially, and some PvE content, that, that's tougher. So, I will definitely be testing this guy first. I want to know where he's at, and I will definitely do a Q&A with you guys after the summon video tomorrow uh, at 9.30pm Eastern Time. And we can talk all about it. I'll do my best to get him out as soon as possible in terms of how much how much levels I can get into him. I, the resources are scarce because I have to do the Akutsuki video. But so far, Mitsuki definitely the winner between the two of them. Richamaru looks very underwhelming. Um... But yeah, even even Mitski looks like he can be a pass guy. So uh, we'll talk about it a little more once we do the testing and, and once we have the Q&A. Uh, but right now, my initial um, impressions, Mitski looks decent. Or tomorrow doesn't look very good. Mitski does have the, the one up on the, the crit rate and the stun. That's what makes him really, really unique here. And uh, out of the new characters that have come out from the, from the power creep. So guys, that's my impressions on this. Uh, let me know what you guys think. If you guys have seen it already and you guys are wondering whether you're going to pull or not, let me know if this is a pull worthy for you. I'm obviously obviously going to do it and i'll give you my review again and we'll look at the numbers and the percentages and again the vitality is going to make the difference guys vitality and the type so if mitsuki is a t unit and doesn't have the 5k uh he's a pass for it should be a pass for everybody actually uh, if he's an a unit with the 5k he should actually be somebody you might be looking at if you are looking to complete your pvp team and you need a stunner with good debuffs and a decent lb2 all right guys this is pain we'll talk soon hope you guys enjoyed this review